Two nights of WrestleMania, and now it's time for our two cents on who is going to leave as winners and who is going to leave as losers. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling Force. We're going to start with night one. We are breaking this shit down. We're going to put it into two nights. Night one, night two, WrestleMania, the WWE.com, they do not have the, the match cards sectioned into night one and night two, but thankfully, Wikipedia does. So. Whoever done that, appreciate it. And that is where we're going to go through our predictions right now. So these matches are actually, I believe, in order. I, I think the order script was leaked a couple of days ago. So night one and night well, two. It was Triple H that leaked it with his nose. So. Well, there you go. So, I mean, Triple H, if Triple H leaked it, I would assume that these are correct. So what that said... Dave Meltzer still got it wrong. Yeah, Dave Meltzer still got it wrong. There you go. Uncle Dave there, just not really... Not really at it, not really at the race. It's not worth that twelve ninety nine a month. But anyway, uh this show I don't even think it's worth twelve ninety nine. Thankfully, we're technically getting it free because we well, I would say see with the rock being a part of a tag team match and you've got the main I would actually say it's probably the first time since they've introduced two nights that it almost feels like it warrants two nights just due to the rock. Would you agree with that? Yeah, possibly. Because I I, I look at it and I think if they were to cram it onto one night, I mean you would have that tag match. And then, like, the two world title matches are on night two already. It would feel like overkill in a weird way because you've just got, like, the same amount of people involved in so many matches. But, uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Nah, we've had WrestleMania before with two world titles on it and I, they were in the overkill and they were good there. Yeah, I know, so. but I'm talking about the fact that, you know, Cody's doing two matches. Uh, you've got what the likes of Seth Rollins is doing two matches. That's never really been done before, is my point. Yeah, that is right. Anyway, guys, uh, Hall of Fame is on right now, and The Undertaker is about to come out and abduct... Uh, not abduct. <laughs> I don't think he's going to abduct Muhammad Ali. He's going to induct Muhammad Ali. Now, hopefully... Well, why is Undertaker inducting Muhammad ho Ali? Hopefully it takes Taker about six minutes no, to uh, get the... No, he's coming with quite a stride here. Taker's <laughs> coming with a purpose. Right, guys, we need to try and get through this video here, because we actually care about what Undertaker says. I mean, if it was like a Lundra Blaze coming out, we wouldn't give a shit and we'd make this preview oh. 30 minutes. But it's Undertaker, he's coming to the ring, he's not walking slowly, so we need to get on with this preview and predictions. Let's go. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch, the man versus Mammy. Who's going to win? Women's World Championship on the line. This is kicking off WrestleMania. Will Rhea Ripley make it? 365 days, well not exactly, but you know, a full calendar year, so to speak. Will she make it a full year, WrestleMania to WrestleMania, as champion, or will Becky Lynch stop this reign of Mammy? What's your prediction? Go for it. She will. She will continue to hold this belt. I think if Rhea Ripley was to lose, it would have been to someone up and coming. But Becky Lynch... It just makes no sense to have Rhea Ripley lose to someone like Becky Lynch. I feel like with Becky, I'm not saying she's in the... Well, she kind of isn't. For a woman, like, she is kind of in the twilight of her career. Well, she's 30, what, 8? Yeah, so she is. It makes no sense to have someone who's, like, 15, 12 years younger than you to job out to you, especially when you're, like, similar star level at this point. I mean, Becky Lynch has kind of went down a wee bit in failure recently, so, yeah, Rhea Ripley to win all the day for yeah, me. Yeah, I'm going for Rhea Ripley to win as well, and the fact that WWE love long title reigns, I believe that this one will continue even longer. So, unfortunately, I don't really like either woman, but I do believe that it will be Rhea Ripley victorious. Right, next, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Intercontinental Championship. Gunther's held the belt for, I believe, over two years now. I see that continuing here. I just don't see Sami Zayn being the guy to end it. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Gunther retaining. The ring is sacred. This championship title is probably sacred, and I don't think he's going to allow Sami Zayn to touch it. So Fair enough. The only thing bigger than Gunther's nipples is the Undertaker's ears. Look at the fucking size of them. God damn it. They are massive. You can take off with them. Yeah, calm, calm down. He might hear you. <laughs> <laughs> See Triple H's nose with his ears? What a weapon that would have been. For, uh, Who needs a sledgehammer <laughs> when you can swing that thing? In Rikishi's arse? <laughs> Jesus. What oh. a stink. Well, anyway, Gunther's winning. Well, hold on. What? See if Rikishi done his arse to Triple H's nose. We're not getting pale, the stink face. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Talk about Brian nosing. But anyway. anyway, anyway Gunther. If Sammy Sane wins, I'll we'll delete this channel. Well, yeah. There you go. Ah, I'll right. donate all, all the money in my bank account to Tony Khan. <laughs> Can we get a can we get a I don't know like a, a signature to that contract? All right, signed. Right there, there you go. go. Up next, six pack uh, tag team ladder match. Uh, Judgment Day versus. Did he go through all the teams? No. You can see them, guys. So I'm not going to name them all. I think Judgment Day will retain. 
Gone are the day, gone are the days, sorry, not the judgment days, of uh, Edge and Christian, the Dudleys and the Hardys and ladder matches. Yeah, and, those days are well gone. <laughs> I mean, this is fucking petrifying to actually look at. But, um, yeah, I hope the Judgment Day actually retain. I wouldn't mind Awesome Truth winning, but anyone else would be a disaster. I don't mind A-Town Down Under, but they're not. Is that their actual name? How lazy is that? A-Town Down Under. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Anyway, I mean, you've got the New Day in there. You've got DIY. I just don't think any of those teams are going to win. I'm going with the Judgment Day. You're going with the Judgment Day. We're both going with the Judgment Day. Let's move on. Match number four. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Battle of the Usos. Battle of the Bloodline. Um, you would expect Jay to win based on how impressive and how highly Jay's been booked, I guess, since splitting up from the bloodline. And Jimmy's not really done anything other than remain like a, I mean, what's it, not a slave like, but he's a... A uh, slave's probably the wrong word to use here, but... but you know what I mean? He's just a pawn, really. He's he's just there. He's a henchman he's and a, a poor d- one at that. A guy that can't get the job done. He's a soldier. Jesus Christ, we're trying to speed this up to here taking he's, he's, he's a man with foot control. He's almost fell off the stairs. Somebody looking like the from the strain is entered the fray here, but uh, I mean, uh, the bloodline strain is straining me. I think Jimmy's going to win. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go with Jimmy as well. I, I think it's just been all Jay so far, and I think we're going to see a surprise with Jimmy. Up next, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargo, and Naomi taking on Damage Control. Uh, Dakota Kai asking Carrie saying if anyone cares. Who are you going for here, and why? I think I know who I'm going for. I'm going Team Black. Team Black. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. How do you follow that up then? <laughs> well, how are they not going to win? Once you go black, you never go... Well, damage control the tag team champs, but who would have thought it? Like, I mean... You know what I would do, right? See, to try and save face, I would probably have Chad Gargle turn heel and batter the fuck out of Bella and, and Naomi because what they're doing with these three is, is butchering them, pointing the signs and saying Estes. Oh, wait... That's Bianca Belair's gimmick anyway. She's fucking shite, doesn't matter what you do. No, but in all seriousness, Chad Gargle, the, the, I mean, what, what are they doing with her? It's been uneventful. I, I think what they should have done is probably like Chad Gargle against Tiffany Stratton. Like, why is she not on the card? Yeah, uh, Tiffany Stratton not making this year's WrestleMania. Uh, not fair to me at all. Like, since this throwaway match, would you not rather just have a singles women match with a, a half-decent build if possible? I think that's what they should have done. But see, but... it's all about the inclusive thing. It's almost let's like... Get, we need to get oh, everybody in. We've got to get these women on the... Co- see, back in the day, not everyone got on wrestling. Yeah, but let's be honest, right? Imagine that Naomi came back in, from TNA and they left her off the roster. Bianca Belair, who's supposed to be one of the big stars. Imagine she's the EST. Could you imagine if they left her off WrestleMania that has an EST in it? See the backlash I think they'd receive? Be racism. I think we're getting to the point now where... If you're a certain position on the card, you have to be on Mania. I don't think you can be left out now. I think it's like this inclusive all. We all need to be on it. I do not think a Bianca Belair, unless she's injured, can be left off WrestleMania. That's not my opinion. I, I believe that's what WWE think as well. But see, you know it's shit? To see if you didn't have like a gimmick paper for you, like Money in the Bank, you could do like a women's Money in the Bank at Mania. You could. But the, the trouble is, you, you've got it every year now, a paper for you. Yeah, I mean, or or for me, like, why not just do Asuka and Carrie Sane versus Belair and Cargill and then maybe you can have the turn then. Uh, just a straight two-on-two tag team match for the belts. You can have a turn and, and then you can set that match up for Backlash, something like that. Although WWE like to drag it out, they probably would want to build the match to like SummerSlam or something because everything needs to be slow and boring. Oh, anyway, or I am going to, I mean, unless Bianca Belair turns, her team will 100% win. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to go with Bel Air because I just see them having like a nice wee. I just I just see it ending with them and I'll point at a sign or something. Yeah, I'm going to go for Team Black. Or three big strong black women or something like that in the ring. So, I uh, right, Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Escobar and Dirty Dom. Who are you going for and why? <sighs> well, I know who I'm going for Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Yeah, Andrade. Actually, no, I'm not. I think Carlito will turn on them. Hope so. Hope so. I'd like to see Carlito turn and go off on his own. Let's talk about ju- damage See if Carlito control. turns, though. Can he just go to Raw and get away from this shit? Absolutely, but do we think it's time to call it a day on the damage control faction? 
if Iowa Sky loses and they lose that match, is it not time to just go separate ways and go back to Japan or whatever they're going to do? I don't know. I think you could argue that they probably think they're getting into the, their stride, you know, and they're, oh, we'll, we'll get rid of Bailey. This is the real damage control. I'm I don't... sorry for even bringing this up. Let's talk, let's go, let's talk, let's talk about the real reason why we're here. The only match that matters, Bloodline, The Rock and Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. If Rhodes and Rollins win, all members of the Bloodline will be barred from ringside during an undisputed Universal Championship match on night two. If Rock and Reigns win, the championship match on night two will be held under Bloodline rules. So, yeah, that's the stipulation. Um, is what it is, I guess. Uh, bloodline rules. I'm not really excited for Bloodline rules. Thought the match they had on Raw fucking sucked. Yep. So, um, yes, and I get it. Bloodline rules means that Bloodline members can get involved. But what happens if that happens. Is Cody going to back up? Is anyone going to get involved on Cody's behalf? Like, how would that work? We don't really know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, prediction time. I do believe Bloodline will win. I'm going to predict The Rock and Roman Reigns defeat Cody Rhodes and Seth Freakin' Rollins. That's my prediction. We'll see if it happens or not. Your prediction? What are you going for and why? My prediction? Well, I mean, how you've got to look at the rest of the show, uh, like night two. Is Seth Rollins going to lose? I think so. Is Cody Rhodes going to win? Yes. So who's going to eat the pin in this match? That is, the, are they going to have Cody Rhodes eat the pin and then win on night two? Would that be the ultimate comeuppance? I, I don't think you want that, but I also think Seth Rollins will be bitching if he has to lose both. True, but here I could give him a reason. But to, to be honest, Seth Rollins is a fucking jobber, and you just look, every, no matter what part of this few tees in, whether it's this or whether it's the stuff we drew, he, he, he just comes across as, like, a, a mid-card guy. He, he comes across as, like, the odd man out. No one really cares. So, yeah, I'm going to go Bloodline and Rock. Bloodline and Reigns, whatever, to yeah, win. I, I, I'm going with the Bloodline and the Rock to win. Ugh, the Rock's not going to lose this match. No chance. Definitely not, guys. If, if any turn's going to come within the Rock and Reigns, it's going to be night, night two. two. Yeah. Anyway, that's what, the, that's what Fog Wrestling's cooking. We'll catch you for night two predictions soon. Till then, peace.